Hello and welcome to this video walkthrough on using XLAMO2, a library for running large language models. In this video, we will be going through a Jupyter notebook that demonstrates how to use XLAMO2. The notebook includes code for installing XLAMO2, downloading a pre-trained model and dataset, quantizing the model, copying files, and running the model for inference. So, let's get started. Welcome back. In this cell, we have a markdown cell that provides some information about XLAMO2, a library for running large language models. The cell also includes a link to a Jupyter notebook that demonstrates how to use XLAMO2. The purpose of this cell is to introduce XLAMO2 and provide some context for the notebook we will be working with. It's important to understand what XLAMO2 is and how it works before we dive into the code. In the next cell, we will be installing XLAMO2 using some code. But for now, let's focus on understanding what XLAMO2 is and why it's important. Welcome back! In this cell, we have some code that installs XLAMO2, the library we introduced in the previous markdown cell. The first line of code clones the XLAMO2 repository from GitHub, while the second line installs XLAMO2 using pip. By installing XLAMO2, we will be able to use its functionality in our Jupyter Notebook. In the next cell, we will be downloading a pre-trained model and dataset, which we will use with XLAMO2. But for now, let's focus on understanding how to install XLAMO2. Welcome back! In this cell, we have some code that downloads a pre-trained model and dataset that we will use with XLAMO2. The first line of code sets the name of the model we want to download, which is Zephyr 7B Beta. The second line sets the value of BPW to 5.0. The next few lines of code download the model by cloning it from GitHub and moving it to a directory called base underscore model. We then remove any bin files from the base underscore model directory. Finally, we download the dataset we will be using with the model by using the wj command and specifying the URL of the dataset. In the next cell, we will be quantizing the model using some code. But for now, let's focus on understanding how to download the pre-trained model and dataset. In this cell, we are quantizing the model using xlom of 2. We first create a new directory called quant using the inter command. Then, we use the python xlamov2 slash convert.py command to quantize the model. The i flag specifies the input directory, which is the base underscore model directory we downloaded earlier. The o flag specifies the output directory, which is the quant directory we just created. The c flag specifies the dataset we will be using with the model, which is wikitext test.parquet. Finally, the b flag specifies the number of bits per weight, which is bpw. The quantization process involves reducing the precision of the model's weights and activations to reduce memory usage and improve inference speed. The output of the cell shows the quantization results for each layer of the model, including the bit precision used and the relative forward norm RFN, error. In the next cell, we will be copying some files from the base underscore model directory to the quant directory. In this cell, we are copying some files from the base underscore model directory to the quant directory. We first remove any existing out underscore tensor directory using the rmrf command. Then, we use the resync command to copy all files from the base underscore model directory to the quant directory, excluding any files with the extension. Save tensors or starting with A. Copying these files is necessary for running the quantized model in the next cell. The output of the cell shows the list of files that were copied and the amount of data transferred. In the next cell, we will be running the quantized model using some code. In this cell, we are running the quantized model using xlom of 2. The command starts with Python which means we are running a Python script from the command line. 
The script being run is xlamov 2 slash test underscore inference dot pi and we are passing two arguments to it, mquant slash which specifies the directory where the quantized model is located, and p I have a dream which is the prompt or starting text for the model to generate text from. After running the command, we see some output which shows the model is being loaded, tokenizer is being loaded, and a warm-up is being performed. Then, the model generates text based on the prompt we provided. In this case, it generated the text I have a dream. Less than vertical bar user vertical bar greater than which is then followed by some additional text that is not related to the code in this cell. Overall, this cell is responsible for running the quantized model and generating text based on the prompt provided. In conclusion, we have successfully installed XLAMA2, downloaded a pre-trained model and dataset, and quantized the model to improve inference speed and reduce memory usage. We then ran the quantized model using XLAMA2 and generated text based on the prompt provided. This is just one example of how XLAMA2 can be used to run large language models efficiently. Thank you for watching.